Superior sees thousands of visitors every year, and most of them come away with a picture or two. But a Two Harbors man is taking Lake Superior photography to a whole new level. Instead of shooting from the shoreline, Christian Delbeck submerges himself in the lake. It doesn't matter if it's January or July. In Finding Minnesota tonight, John Lawrenson met up with Christian earlier this month and learned how he overcame his darkest days by adding color through photography. This is eye opening once you can see it. This is the purest form of natural therapy. Even though he grew up on the North Shore, Christian Dahlbeck never really saw Lake Superior. At least, not like he does today. The scenery, I don't know, it all just comes together. I, in, in any time of the day, it's beautiful here. He might know that better than anyone. For much of his life, Christian was an alcoholic. After several DUIs, rock bottom came about 10 years ago. Luckily, I never hurt anybody or myself on the highway, and I got that last DUI, and it was a wide open, it was an eye opener. I got another half of my life, I hope. I want to see what it's like without being uh, pulled down every day. Instead of being pulled down, he submerged into the depths of Lake Superior. Photography became Christian's treatment, but not even he could have anticipated just how clearly life would come into focus. It's more like Lake Superior is looking at you. As if you. That's the way I want the image to be viewed almost. Any time of day, any time of year, Christian will put on one of seven different wetsuits, grab his cameras, and capture once-in-a-lifetime images. As long as the water is open, he's in. The weather can do whatever it wants. Just on the drive up today, we were saying that uh, it seemed like uh, we had all four seasons going from two harbors to Split Rock, snow and raining, sunshine, wind. <laughs> By braving the elements, he's been there for picture-perfect sunrises and sunsets, and he's captured new views of the Split Rock Lighthouse and the Northern Lights. Then there's his wave photography. I have lots of favorite ones. I usually have favorite waves because you're, you're just never going to see that same thing ever again. Christian's wife, Cara, believes there aren't enough adjectives to describe the imagery. The couple met two years ago, and it wasn't long before Cara found out why Christian does what he does. How he turned his life around was so beautiful that I always say I respected him before I fell in love with him. Instead of holding a drink, he's now holding a camera. Instead of staring at bottles, he's staring at a lighthouse. The addiction to photography now far outweighs the addiction to alcohol. And for Christian, it's like seeing the world with a new set of eyes. I thank God every day that, you know, what, where this has landed. And, and uh, I don't ever feel I'm going back down that road again. It just feels like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And, and I love it. At Split Rock Lighthouse State Park, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News.